with the channel so here we are discussing the question the good array the problem states that you are given two integers n and k an array a1 to an of length n consisting of zeros and ones is good if for all integers i from 1 to n both of the following conditions are satisfied at least greatest integer i by k of the first i elements of a are equal to 1 and at least i by k of last i elements of a are equal to 1 here i by k denotes the vision of division of i by k rounded up which you can see in the example we need to find the minimum possible number of ones in a good array so let's look at the example and see the first example here states that n is 3 and k is 2 so here this array is good 101 and we have all other arrays of length 3 which contains at least two ones so the answer is 2 here now similarly there are other test cases let's look at how to solve it so the intuition is very simple as you can see uh, what can be the maximum number of ones obviously n so we can initialize our answer to n and then what we see is we need to count the number of ones on left and number of ones on right so we split the array into two two parts which would be the first i elements and the last n minus i element we will do this through a loop and then inside the loop we can calculate the number of ones required on the left and the right side to satisfy the good array condition for this array so now to calculate the left part means the left number of ones the left number of ones would be simply i plus k minus 2 this whole divide by k similarly now what why we are doing this i will let you know similarly first we calculate r the right side so our right side is n minus i so it would be n minus i plus k minus 1 this whole divided by k so both of these are calculating the number of ones which are required on the left side and right side respectively and ensures that the numbers are rounded up hence this formula now we need to calculate the total number of ones so the total number of ones would be very easily n plus r and we have maximum total number of ones as n so in the loop for each i we can have our answer as the minimum value of the left plus right and the initial answer and whatever comes from this we would return that answer plus 1 now we will quickly look through an example let's say we have example of this 9 and 3 so we have n equal to 9 k equal to 3 so for left side we start i from 1 to 9 
so we go from 1 to 9 I'm not calculating here you can calculate it yourself so the left and the right values I will be writing here for 1 to 9 so for 1 the left is 0 and right is 3 for 2 left is 1 and right is 3 you can put in the formula and check and going on like this we see that for 9 left is 4 and right is 1 now if we calculate the left plus right value so it would be 3 4 and so on and the last one is 5 this is our L plus R and our N is 9 so initially our answer would be 9 and we take minimum of 9 and 3 it would be 3 minimum of 3 and 4 it will also be 3 like this ending up in between these numbers no number is less than 3 so we get answer as 3 and we return answer plus 1 if you remember so it would be 3 plus 1 and our answer would be 4 here and you can see for this the answer is 4 so hope you guys understand this solution thanks for watching